Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. Today I'm here with a back to, um, not back to basics, sorry. Um, I am here with a payoff pitch game. And this is a payoff pitch game from my 1979 White Sox replay, as many of you know that I am replaying. Uh, we are currently um, at the date of August 20th against the Milwaukee Brewers. And um, the Brewers, actually I have the Brewers being... Uh, on my score sheet incorrectly being uh, the visitor but anyway uh, we will just treat them as the uh, as the uh, home team because they are so we're at Milwaukee um, on August 20, 20th and uh, the Chicago White Sox come into this replay with a record of 62 and 61 and the pitching matchup is going to be Ken Kravak going up against Bill Travers. And um, the lineup for the visiting White Sox will be Alan Bannister in left field, Chet Lemon in center, Claudel Washington in right, Lamar Johnson at first base, Jim Morrison at third, Wayne Nordhagen will be the DH today, um, Bill Naharodney will be the catcher, uh, Junior Moore is going to be at second, and Greg Pryor, the shortstop. Now, I've gotten as much in the scene as I can get, so uh, you're just going to have to live with that. Um, if you wanted to see more, uh, I guess too bad. So we're going to <laughs> we're going to get on with the game. Um, the uh, yeah, we're going to get on with the game. And the uh, White Sox are batting first since they are the visiting team against Bill Travers, the left-hander who was 14 and 8 with a 389 earned run average in 1979 for the Brewers. So that is a six on a Travers card, which is an in play, and it's a 19 on a Bannister's card. So 19 or uh, let's see, six is an in play as an in play. And a 19 in play against a lefty is going to be a single. So Bannister has a hit. And that is a hit allowed for Travers. And um, Chet Lemon. And Chet Lemon gets a 6 and that is an in play again. And that's a 55 in play against a lefty which will be an out. And it is a G5. He is a double play 8. And Travers is an 8 as well. So we will re-roll for that. And it is an 8. So that's a double play. And there are two down. With, uh, with uh, Claude L. Washington coming up. And he gets a 4 and a 29. Four on Travers's card is a wheelhouse, and a 29 against a lefty is not going to be a home run. It's going to be a single. So he gets a base hit, and that's the second hit allowed by Travers. And gives way to Lamar Johnson, the first baseman. And he gets a 7 and a 90. 7 is a patient, and 90 will be off the card. And it's going to be a 6-3 to three out and Chicago gets a couple of base runners at various times but they don't get what they don't get is any runs so that brings the Brewers to the plate against uh, Ken Kravak um, Yount uh, the the uh, lineup for the uh, Brewers will be Robin Yount leading off playing shortstop Ben Ogilvy at left field Sicto Lescano and right Cecil Gupa will be the first baseman. Paul Molitor at DH. Storm and Gorman Thomas in center. Charlie Moore will be the catcher. Jimmy Gantner is at second. And Sal Bando will be the third baseman. And that's the lineup that will face Ken Kravak, who in 1979 was 15 and 13 with a 374 earned run average. And in the replay is 12 and 8. 
So that is a 9 and an 18. 9 is a patient, and we go to the patient and 18 against a lefty, and that is going to be a double. So there's a leadoff double for uh, Yount. Hit allowed for Kravak, and that brings up Ben Ogilvy. And we knocked Yount off a second. There's a 10 and a 34. 10 is an in play, and a 34 against a lefty is off the card. And it's going to be a pop out to the, to, uh, the first baseman. So that's one down, and that's a pop out. Pop out three, one away. Les Cano is the batter. He gets a 10 and a 15. 10 is an in play, and a 15 against a lefty is going to be a triple. So Les Cano triples the run home, and Milwaukee leads 1 0. Hit allowed, run, earned run. And Cecil Koopa is up, one down. I'm not going to bring the infield in. It's a 7 and a 34. 7 is a tough, and a 34 against a lefty is a strikeout. So he strikes out Cooper at a key time when he really needed it. And with a man 90 feet away and two down, Paul Molitor is up. And that is a 5 and a 45. 5 is a patient, and a 45 against a lefty is going to be a single, and that knocks in the second run. So, Kravec is already down 2 nothing here in the first to Milwaukee, and I just lost my dice. And, uh, Let's see. And Gorman Thomas is the batter. And he gets a 7 and a 95. 7 is a tough, and a 95 is going to be off the card, and it is an F7. So Thomas flies out, but Milwaukee does get 2 in the first. We go to the top of the second. And in the top of the second, you got Jim Morrison. Jimmy Morrison gets a uh, 6 on Travers' card, which is an in play again, and a 25 against a lefty. And it's going to be just off the card, and it is a pop-out 4. So there's one down, and Nordhagen, the DH, is up. He gets a 10 and a 10. 10 is a tough, and 10 against the lefty is going to be a strikeout. There's two down, and that's the first strikeout for Travers. And Bill Naharadny is the batter. He gets a 9 and an 82. 9 is a ballpark. 82 for a right-handed batter is going to be a wheelhouse. And so we will re-roll for the wheelhouse. And that is a 39, and 39 is a home run. Bill Naharadny hits a home run and gets the White Sox on the board. So it's 2-1 to one now. White Sox losing by a run, and Junior Moore, the second baseman, up, and he gets an 8 and a 67. 8 is a tough, and a 67 is off the card, and it is a G4, 4-3. But the White Sox get a run in the second. We go to the bottom of the second, and Charlie Moore is the batter, the catcher for the Brewers. He gets a 4 and a 41. 4 is a patient. And a 41 is going to be a walk. So, let's see. A walk and Kravak not having a very good game. He's 12-8 and eight for us in the replay, so kind of surprising. Jim Gantner, although 
we're still in the game, obviously. Nine and a 94. Nine on a Cravex card is a patient, and a 94 is going to be off the card, and it is going to be an F9. So there's one away. Fly out to right field. And Sal Bando, the batter. And he gets an 11 and a 1. So 11 is a defense. And this is the first time we're going to have to pick a split card. And it's going to be, defense is going to be a range at shortstop. And with a 1, that's going to definitely be an error. Or a, a, a base hit. Uh, let's see. Just just so that you know, his range is a uh, a C and a C range for the Milwaukee for Milwaukee County Stadium is a one to forty six is a base hit. So that is a hit, and uh, we will see what kind. Or yeah, we'll see what kind of a hit. And the type of hit is. Um, a single two asterisk, so runners, a runner goes to third, and there are runners at first and third. And another hit given up by Kravak, and another guy that's 90 feet away, with only one out, and Robin Yama. Yeah, he gets a four and a 37. Four is a patient, and a 37 is just off the card. And that is going to be a pop-out five. Two away, pop-out to the third baseman. And Ben Ogilvy up. He could get out of this jam. It's an eight and a 53. Eight is a tough, and a 53 is going to be off the card, and it is a G5. Five, he goes five to three. And Kravak does avoid giving up another run there. And it is therefore still two to one with Greg Pryor up for the White Sox. And that is a five and a 15. Five on Travers's card is an in play and a 15 is going to be a single. Pryor with a hit to lead off the third inning. Travers with his fourth hit allowed. Alan Bannister, the batter. Eight and a 30. Eight on Travers' card is a tough, and a 30 is going to be a single. And we will see what type of single. Uh, that is a soft blooper in the short right field. Left field runner on first advances two bases. And so we have runners at the corners. And um, a man 90 feet away with only zero outs is what we only have. We only have zero outs. Chet Lemon up. He gets an 8 and an 18. 8 on Travers' card is a tough. 18 will be a strikeout. So that's the first out. One down and Claudel up. Claude L gets an 8 and a 68. 8 is a tough and a 68 is a strikeout. So he, Travers comes through big with two strikeouts on the next two batters, which, um, which makes our, our job that much harder because now we need a base hit to get that runner in from third. Lamar Johnson up. He gets a 9 and a 13. Nine is a ballpark, and a 13 is going to be in the wheelhouse. And so we will roll the dice to see. Um, well, that's a 99, so that is not going to be a home run. It's, in fact, going to be an F7. So no runs come in. We had a man as far as third. But that didn't uh, that didn't materialize. Sixto Lescano is the batter for the Brewers in the bottom of the third. Nine and seventy-three. Nine on Cravex card is a patient. Seventy-three 
is going to be a walk. Wow. So, uh, yeah, let's kind of get to walk. Which brings up um, Cecil Cooper. He gets a 10 and a 76. 10 is an in play. 76 will be off the card. It's an F8. One away, fly out to center. Paul Molitor. Paul Molitor gets a 3 and a 96. 3 is a wheelhouse. 96 will be out of the... Uh, um, wheelhouse range and so it's going to be a possible base hit and at 15 it will be it's going to be a single and we'll see what type of single uh sharp liner drops in front of the left field runner on first advances one base so they have now got runners at first and second with only one down fifth hit allowed for Kravak. Gorman Thomas gets a 7 and a 15. 7 is a tough. 15 is a strikeout, so that's two down. Craybeck with the K. It's Craybeck with a K. And Charlie Moore is up, and he gets an 8 and a 42. 8 is a tough, and a 42 is going to be a single, and the runner on first base is Lescano and he's a six so he scores um, automatically and the uh, runner behind him is a seven and so he also goes to third so that does knock in a run and the uh, Brewers have another run and they take a three to one lead and have a man a 90 feet away again for Jim Gantner. And he gets a 10 and a 52. 10 is an in play and a 52 will be an out and it is a 5 to 3. But the uh, Brewers get a run in the third. We go to the top of the fourth. Chicago batting down by two again as they were after the first inning. Jim Morrison is up. He gets a 10 and a 92. 10 is a tough and a 92 will be off the card. It's F7. One away. And Wayne Nordhagen, in the DH gets a 5 and a 27. 5 on Travers card is an in play and a 27 against the lefty is barely on the card. It's a single. So Nordhagen gets a hit, fifth hit allowed for Travers. Bill, Bill Naharadi, who homered his last time up, gets a 5 and a 44. 5 is an in play, 44 is going to be off the card. And it's going to be a G3. He's a double play 6, Travers is an 8. And that is a 10, so that's going to be advances the runner, but it's going to be the second out. And Junior Moore is up. And that's a 7 and a 43. 7 on uh, Travers's card is a patient. And a 43 is going to be a single. And, uh, yeah, and we will see what... Well, actually, there's two out, so let's see who the runner is. The runner is Nordhagen, so we're going to have to pick the card to see, resolve where how he goes on the single, because he's only a runner four. Ball blooped in the right field. Runner on first advances one. Runner on second scores. So he still does score. And now we are only down by a run. And Travers gives up a hit. And the second his second run, it is two to three now. We're down two to three. And Greg Pryor is the batter. He gets a six, and that is a six. So six is an in play, and six is going to be a double. And let's see what kind of double. In fact, let's see if he's a runner, good enough runner to have easily scored. 
He is, actually. He does score. Because he's a runner seven. With two outs, and as my understanding of the rules are, that the runner, uh, runner six or better takes an extra base on base hits. And so the game is tied at three. And Alan Bannister is the batter. And he gets a five and an 86. Five is an in play, 86 will be an out, and it's a G6, six to three. So in the fourth, um, we tie the game up at three. We go to the bottom of the fourth with Sal Bando up. And he gets a nine and a 99. Nine is a patient, 99 will be an out, it's an F7. One down in the bottom of the, in the Milwaukee fourth with Robin Young up. He gets an 11 and a 60. 11 is a defense. And the defense says error, possible error at the, on the second baseman. Our second baseman is Junior Moore and his error rating is two and a 60 on the error rating in uh, County Stadium is it's one to 44 so it's actually an out so it's six to three and that brings up ben ogilvy and ben ogilvy gets a 10 and a 99 10 on uh Kravec is an in play and a 99 is an f7 So the White Sox are up. Um, Milwaukee gets no runs in the fourth. We go to the fifth. Chet Lemon up in a tie game. Eight and an 82. Eight on Travers's card is a tough and an 82 will be an out and it's an F8. One away. Claude L. Washington gets a two and a 57. That's going to be a defense and a 57. The defense says range and right field. The right fielder's range is a C. And what did we have? A 57. So range um, C 57 is going to be an out. That's going to be an F9. And Lamar Johnson's up. And that is going to be a 9 and a 9. 9 is a ballpark. 9 will be a possible home run. And it is a 21. And it is going to be a single. Claudel Washington does not have his power against... Um, let's see. He does not have his power against... Oh, wait a minute. No, that was that was Lamar Johnson. And Lamar Johnson does hit a home run on that. So it is a home run. And the White Sox take the lead. So Travers gives up a hit. Second home run. And the fourth run. And now the White Sox have a 4-3 to three lead. Yeah, because nobody else was on. And now Jim Morrison is the, uh, is the batter. And that is an 8 and a 15. 8 is a tough. 15 will be a strikeout. So Morrison goes down and ends the inning. But we did get a home run by Lamar Johnson, which gives us the 4-3 lead going to the bottom of the fifth. And 6 to Liz Cano, the batter for Milwaukee. And he gets a 7 and a 49. 7 is a tough, and a 49 is going to be a single. 6 to Lizcano, that dude is, is literally a tough customer. He gets a base hit on toughs pretty well. Uh, Lizcano does get a single. Kravak gives up his 7th hit. And Cecil Cooper's out. 
he gets an 11 and a 2. 11 is a defense, and a 2 is probably going to be bad, whatever it is. It's range at shortstop, and our shortstop's range is a C, and that is going to be a base hit. We will see what kind of base hit. Uh, it is going to be a single two asterisk, so runners are at the corners, and the game is in uh, jeopardy of being tied again. Eighth hit allowed by Kravak. Neither one of these pitchers is pitching very well. And Cecil, or wait, uh, Molitor. Molitor is the batter. And that is a 6 and a 14. 6 is an in play. 14 at will be a single. And we will see what kind of a single. Soft blooper to short right left. Uh, runner on first advances two bases and the runner on second score. So that's going to leave the situation the way it is, except it knocks in a run. And uh, yeah, Kravak is getting his, his, his ass beat in right here. And he, uh, he gives up the fourth run and, the, and it's now a tie game again. And um, Gorman Thomas is up and that is a five and a three. Five is a patient and a three is going to be a walk and load the bases. Kravak walks a man, and we're going to look for possible relief pitching options. And we're going to get Guy Hoffman. I love that guy. I love Guy Hoffman. So we're going to get Guy Hoffman up in the bullpen. Charlie Moore is the batter. And uh, that's a 7 and a 16. That's a tough 16. That will be a strikeout. So there's one away. We can hope for the double play now. Let's hope that that happens. Uh, because it is a tie game. And Jim Gantner is up. Yes. And that is a 5 and a 43. 5 is a patient and a 43 is going to be a walk and it's going to force in a run Kravak walks another man he gives up a fifth run and um, there's only one out we are, we are going to bring in Hoffman so Hoffman is going to be the, the uh, pitcher there's Hoffman's card for you, just to take a quick look at it, so that when I'm reading things off, you know what, um, you know, you know what uh, I'm referring to. But yeah, Hoffman comes in, and so Kravak only goes four and a third, and Hoffman is a long reliever, so. He can be in. He's perfect for this situation. Base is loaded. Sal Bando is up. Apparently he is. And that is a 3 and a 65. 3 is a patient. 65 though is off the card. And it is a G4. He is a double play 8. And Hoffman is a 9. And that's a 4. So that's a double play. And he is out of the. He does get us out of the inning. But not before um, Milwaukee scores two of their own in the fifth and takes a 5-4 lead as we go to the sixth inning. Wayne Nordhagen is the batter. And he gets an 8 and a 6. 8 is um, a tough and a 6 is going to be a strikeout. So Nordhagen gets a K from Travers. The uh, Milwaukee bullpen is really not that great. Naharadny's up 9 and a 37. So they'd like to get as much as they can out of uh, Travers. That's a ballpark. And so we will roll the dice and see if we can get another homer. And he can. So Naharadny ties the game with his second home run. Bill 
Naharadney. And yeah, they're going to be looking for a replacement for Travers. He's given up three home runs and five runs. And uh, Junior Moore is up. One out, nobody on. Seven and a 65. Seven is a patient. And a 65 is off the card, and it's an F9. Second out of the inning, and prior is the batter. And he gets a 6 and a 30. 6 is an in play, and a 30 is going to be just off the card, and it will be a pop-out 4. But we tie the game. We tie the game at 5, and we go to the bottom of the 6th with Sal Bando, the batter for Milwaukee. And that is a 6 and a 54. 6 is a tough, and a 54 is going to be off the card, and it's going to be a 5 to 3. So, um, or wait a minute. No, that's Yount. It's supposed to be Yount. And uh, actually a 53 for him, or 54 for him, is a single on tough. So he gets a base hit, almost robbed... Uh, the uh, Milwaukee Brewers of a hit. I wouldn't really want to do that, would I? So Ben Ogilvy is up. No outs. Man at first. 5 and 98. 5 is an in play, but a 98 is going to be easily an out, and it's an F9. One away. And Lescano is the batter. Cisto Lescano. He gets a 6 and a 4. Um, six is a tough, and that and a four is going to be a strikeout, so that's two down. Hoffman with his second strikeout. Is that second? No, first strikeout. And Cecil Cooper's up, and he gets an eight and a 43. Eight is a patient, and a 43 is going to be a single. So they're getting base hits off of... Uh, off of Hoffman, but he's bending and not breaking, and we need that for right now. Paul Molitor up, gets a 9 and a 13. 9 is a patient, and a 13 is a walk to load the bases up. And that brings to the plate Gorman, Gorman Thomas. And he gets a 7 and a 91. 7 is a tough, 91 will be off the card. It is a G6, 6 to 3. And uh, they don't get a run. They don't get a run. They came close, but they didn't, no cigar. So we go to the top of the 7th with the score tied at 5. And Milwaukee will make a pitching change right here. That will be Bob Galasso. So, um, Travers goes six. He gives up nine hits, five earned runs, strikes out five, but gave up three dongs, two of them to um, Bill Naharadney. And now he gives way to Bob Galasso. So neither team going to their, uh, you know, to their ace best pitcher just yet. And um, that will bring to the plate Alan Bannister for the White Sox. He gets a 9 and a 14 on Galasso's card. 9 is an in play and a 14. And he is a righty. 14 against a righty is a single. So um, Bannister gets a base hit here in the 7th against Galasso. Chet Lemon is up. Chet Lemon gets a 7 and a zip. Bolo, and uh, with uh, a run around, we're going to have, that's a rare occurrence chart. We're going to have to look at the rare occurrence chart. Let me grab that. And uh, let's see, with a man on, we'll roll the dice and see what happens. Five is re-roll two D6s if the total equal to or higher than the pitcher's hold rating. A balk is called, and the runners advance one base. All right, it's not his, uh, it's not, he doesn't have a balk rating, he has a hold rating. That's what I got to roll. And it is a four, so it is, let's see, equal to or higher than the pitcher's hold rating, a balk is called, but it isn't. So 
then it's going to be a it's just going to be a redo the batter um because there was no bock and lemon is up and yes we'll re-roll for lemon and that's a six and a 39. six is a tough and a 39 is going to be a single so he comes through with one let's see what kind of a single sharp liner drops in front of left fielder runner on first advances one so we have runners at first and second with no outs and bob galasso did not help their situation at all Claudel Washington comes up. He gets a 7, and that is a 99. 7 is an in play, and a 99 will be an out, and it's an F9. So there's one away. Lamar Johnson is the batter. One on, or two on, one out, 6 and a 5. 6 is a tough, but a 5 is a strikeout. Two down very quickly here after the first two batters got on and Jim Morrison is the batter and he gets an eight and a 20. Eight is a tough and a 20 is going to be a strikeout. Yes, so um, we don't get any runs despite the fact that we let off the inning with two guys on. And so two, three, four, five, four, five, yeah. Still five all going to the bottom of the seventh. We've still got Hoffman out there. He's been pitching pretty well. Did a little bending and not breaking, and let's hope he can keep doing that or even not even bend. Uh, that is a 10 and a 62. 10 is an in play for Charlie Moore and a 62 will be off the card. And it is an F9. One away. Bottom of the seventh. Jim Gantner gets a five and a 79. Five is an in play and a 79 will be an out. And it's going to be an F8. And Sal Bando is the batter. And he gets an 11 and a 46. 11 is a defense, and um, we will see defense where? Range at third base. Uh, Morrison's range is a D, which is terrible, and a 46. Let's see. Range D, 46. That will be a hit, and we'll see what kind of a hit. It is going to be a double. So Bando ripping a, a two-out double off of Hoffman. Again, bending, not breaking. And Robin Yana, let's hope he's not breaking. Five and a 61. Five is an in play. 61, that is an out, and it's an F9, and that is exactly what he did. And we go to the top of the eighth. Top of the eighth, Wayne Nordhagen against Bob Galasso. That is a seven and a 38. Seven is an in play and a 38 is going to be an out. And that is a one to three. He goes one to three, one down. Bill Naharadney gets a 7 and a 13. 7 is an in play and a 13 is going to be a single. So uh, Naharadney's having quite the day. He is 3 for 4 with 2 home runs um, and 2 RBIs. And Junior Moore gets a 9 and a 25. 9 is an in play and a 25 is off the card and a 25 is a pop out four two away pop out to the second baseman and greg pryor the batter and that is an eight and a 37. eight is a tough and a 37 is going to be a single and the runner is a four so we're going to see what happens 
sharp liner drops in front of the left field runner on first advances one base so you would expect a runner four would only go one base anyway but that's exactly what happened we have two runners aboard but we got two down and alan banister up and he gets a six and a 15. six is a tough but a 15 is going to be a strikeout And a strikeout for Galasso, and uh, no runs come in for us in the eighth. And in the eighth, we are going to take Hoffman out. So let's see, he went four, so two thirds. He went two and two thirds, looks like. And we're going to take Hoffman out, put in another pitcher for the. White Sox. And that pitcher is going to be Fred Howard. So Fred Howard will come in. And Milwaukee is going to send up Ben Ogilvy, I believe, and that is true. That is exactly what they're going to do. And he gets a 7 and an 83. 7 on Howard's cards, a tough, and an 83 is off the card, and it's going to be a 4 to 3. Might have some free baseball here for everybody. Les Cano comes up. He gets a 10 and a 47. 10 is a ballpark. And a 47 is a possible home run. And that is going to be, I believe, a home run. Yes, it is. Sixto Les Cano. And then, then, then again, maybe not. Sixto Les Cano puts the uh, Brewers ahead as Howard gives up a hit. A home run and an earned run and uh, that brings Cecil Cooper up and he gets a 6 and a 22 that is an in play and a 22 against a righty is going to be a single because he is a righty so I got a right hander out there now and I mean the lefties weren't doing that great so Paul Molitor comes up. He gets a, an 11 and a 69. 11 is a patient, but a 69 is off the card. And it is going to be an F9, and that's two down. And Gorman, Storm, and Thomas. He gets an 8 and a 38. 8 is a patient, and a 38 is going to be a walk. And that is... Yeah, that does move him to second. Howard allowing all kinds of guys on. A home run and now two guys on with two down and Charlie Moore the batter. And he gets a six and a 93. Six is an in play, 93 will be an F7. And the final out of that inning. But Milwaukee struck for one and now we have to get one run. And with us having to only uh, needing to get one run and them just about to put the game away, they're going to bring in their closer, Bill Castro. So Castro comes in to shut the door. And um, Chet Lemon is the batter. Now we have a good part of the lineup coming up. I don't like our chances. Six, or yeah, six and a 17. Six is a patient, and a 17 will be a walk. So Chet Lemon is aboard. Castro allows a walk. Claudel Washington gets a five and an 87. Five is an in play, 87 is an out. That is a G4. He is a 6 and Castro is a 10. And that is a 6. So that's going to be a double play. 
and Lamar Johnson is the batter. Nobody on, two down. And that is a 5 and a 94. Not good. In play, 94. That will be an out. It's an F7. And we lose the game 6 to 5. So that is the game, and we the what the White Sox will with that loss will go to 62 and 62 on the replay year, and that is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke signing off.